Here we go. Hello, Overwatch fans, sir. Ohio State Esports. Welcome back to Ohio State Esports content. My name is Joe Harvey. I'm joined by my fellow broadcaster, Steph. Steph, what how's up, it going? What up? Everything's good. How are you doing, Joel? Doing great. I'm doing excellent. We're excited to bring you some Overwatch content today. We're bringing to you live for Ohio State Esports Overwatch. We are now in our seated brackets just before playoffs to get our seated number here and we are in the top nine teams and we'll be played to see who our top nine uh teams are and where we fall into that but today we have received a buy or a forfeit by midland university so we am on to the second round and we'll be playing bellevue University, Bellevue University, and this should be an exciting match. Bellevue is a, historically a very good esports program regarding Overwatch, so we'll see what uh, challenges we'll face there. But of course, we're a little biased here at Ohio State, and I think the Buckeyes have a good chance to pull this one out. I completely agree. It has been a crazy and fun to watch season. We have seen the Ohio State um, esports Overwatch team compete at the highest levels against the highest teams, and yeah, I mean they ended nine and one, which is an incredible record, um, and that is what put them in this this Group One bracket. So they do have a playoff spot already, but this is more for seeding for the overall tournament. So it's just as important, and yeah, now they're competing for that that fourth, fifth right now. But but I think they want to try and take home that second seeding by the end of the day today. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be nice to get that second CD winning in the finals or that third CD. Just get that top four to give us a very, very high seed number and give a very good position for us going into the playoffs, which will be happening in two weeks on April 10th and April 11th. But let's get down to our first map that we'll be playing on is Ilios. Control map style, King the Hill, always a fun one. Ilios, it should be pretty okay for our Ohio State. We we practice and scrim on all the control maps, but Ilios is one that we of course prepared for since that is the control style map that will be starting off here in the C day bracket. Uh, going over to the Ohio State's players, of course we have potatoes on main tank. We also have. Eski and Echo rolling in on the supports. Yan, the off tank player for Ohio State. And we cannot forget about our DPS players, Grab and Performance, two outstanding DPS players on the side of Ohio State. And also, Steph, we always want to keep an eye on Performance and Grab rolling out with big plays uh, either on either side. So. I think we're having some technical difficulties, so I'm just going to hop in for Joel real quick. Um, but yeah, well, like as you were saying, it's been an awesome season, and we are excited to see these matches that Ohio State is playing against. Um, as we said, we are first seeing Bellevue University, a historically great program, especially for Overwatch. And yeah, we're going to start off with Control Map at Ilios. And throughout the season, Ohio State has had some pretty great success um, in their first, their first rounds. The only time they really lost on their first control map was actually against the their one loss, which was Harrisburg. So Harrisburg's actually on the other side of the bracket for today. So we wouldn't have to be facing them until the finals. So right now we have obviously our buy against, um, we had our buy in the first round and now we have our second one against Bellevue. But yeah, I mean, we're just, me and Joel are both excited to see what Ohio State can bring. Um, it's great that we already have that secured spot for playoffs. Um, and now it's kind of just, you know, putting everything together and securing that higher seed um, for the rest of for the rest of the tournament. And yeah, so besides besides that, we are just trying to fix some technical problems, but overall, we are we're excited for this and my favorite plays so far, um, as we know, me and Joel like to joke about one of our players' performance because he always does put on a performance. Um, but yeah, we're hoping to see some plays by that. 
performance usually uses McCree, which is one hero in Overwatch. So we've kind of been studying a few of the heroes and kind of the strategies behind our players since we are Ohio State casters and focusing more on our Ohio State team. So what we were noticing is McCree, which is the hero that performance uses most of the time, um, has that shock element, which I haven't really paid attention to. So I'm excited to kind of watch and play, um, like see their play by play and how he's going to be using everything. Interested to see if they're going to switch up any of their heroes, because um, we th we have seen some changes um, as well as some some roster changes, um, subbing in some players and see their combinations of heroes. But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, and yeah, so first the first map again, Ilios, our control map, basically two two teams on either side. They're trying to take over that one control point, um, as you know the name of its control. So they're taking over that one spot and every second come, goes up a percent. So you're trying to hold that spot for basically a hundred percent. But if someone, but if someone um, takes over, obviously it's going to switch percentage. So your team wants to focus on taking that entire control point for a hundred percent of the time. After that, it goes into an overtime. And if the other team can challenge it, they could switch over the power. But besides that, it's, um, that's basically the main the main thing. So I think we're going to be heading into our, our games pretty soon. And yeah. Let's um So we're going to we're going to wait a few minutes before we head on over, but yeah, as we said, control the control map is is exciting to see and as well after those control fights are happening, you know, you have to you have to gather as a team. You can't just keep respawning and rushing and respawning and rushing. Like you really have to wait for your whole team to respawn and go into those team fights. So we'll be saying a lot of like art the team fights and everything. And that just basically means after one team really takes over control, it's like a 10 second break until that next fight that's going to happen. And then next time that um, you're going to be battling for that control spot. So I am really excited to see. So hopefully um, we can get through it um, any viewers out there that maybe aren't so um, accustomed to Overwatch, I hope that broke it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, again, we can take a look um, in the eight, the eight group, the group one eight seating. We have um, Harrisburg Storm going against University of Akron, UCI Esports against Maryville, Ohio State against Midland, which we ended up getting a buy. They forfeited, so we're on to the second round, and then University of Florida versus Bellevue and Bellevue ended up winning. So we're on that round two, that top four right now. And yeah, I mean, those are some great names. We've definitely, we versed HU Storm, we versed Akron, we versed a lot of these names. And these are some really big names in the Overwatch community. So we're really excited to go against all of them and even just be a part of this group one bracket with a secured spot in playoffs. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. So we're gonna see. So Ohio State obviously had that buy um, but now we're going against seed number two in this bracket, which is Bellevue. So we're seeded number three. So it's going to be a good match and it could be anyone's game. Obviously, I'm a little biased. Um, I'm rooting for Ohio State as I always do. Go Bucks! But yeah, it's going to be fun. And I'm really interested to see all these combinations. I'm excited to see it. I don't remember casting against Bellevue, so I don't know if I watched their matches. So I'm interested to see their combinations of heroes and how it matches up against Ohio State and kind of what strategies they're going to be using. Maybe they're more aggressive, they're more defensive. Um, but besides that, I'm extremely excited to see to see what's going to be um, put up against them. Um, we have obviously there's three types of heroes. So you have tank, damage and support. And what I'm saying about those different combinations, it's just which type, which tanks you're going to use, which damage your DPS, as they say, and which support characters or heroes you're going to be using. So it really plays a huge role into the games of which characters and heroes you're, you are picking and how they're going to line up against the heroes of the other team. So obviously for us, we, we, we change them up um, for Ohio State a lot. I know McCree is usually a big one that we see um, one team pretty big name before but for us um mccree mccree we have tracer sometimes you know we use a lot of different um heroes and combinations but 
it looks like I'm going to be joined now by um, a new caster. We have Jeremy. I've been hello, um, hello. honored to cast with Jeremy from some Rocket League. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining us, Jeremy. What are you What are you most excited for? Yeah, absolutely. I am very happy to be here. And it's going to be a great casting experience today at Overwatch. Uh, I've done a little bit of casting over here for the Premier Esports team. And uh, I'm really looking forward to having a good time right now casting uh, the seating right now for Group 1. It's it's definitely going to be interesting. These teams are amazing. We have Bellevue coming in for round two. We got that auto win against, uh, unfortunately, the first team. And it looks like we're going to be going right into it. My name is Jeremy or Germs PC. Uh, it is not Joel. Unfortunately, Joel <laughs> looks like he's having some technical difficulties. And we will be getting into the match shortly. All players are currently into the lobby. Uh, what I'm looking forward to, uh, as always, is just some great Overwatch uh, experiences. You know, we are going to be seeing first, obviously, um, you know, this first map is, is you know, what, what they have to play. But after that, you know, it's definitely up to the individual teams uh, which hybrid they, they want to play. So, you know, obviously we have a lot of uh, different strategies coming into it. Um, obviously, we do like to play uh, a lot of different things. And it looks like we're going to go right into here as we make our... to see what's going on here uh looks like they have themselves click is going to be running as fast as he can onto it and what's your thoughts millie so we have obviously ohio state is blue bellevue kind of took that um that scarlet from us but that's all right um so yeah we're gonna be seeing some combinations um performance is using as i was saying before mccree so he's got that revolver um just same as this guy from bellevue he's using mccree with that 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 sheriff revolver i love it it's always great to see um, so Bellevue is coming in strong in this control point. We have some, um, it looks like Bellevue is taking this control point over, but we have two eliminations on Bellevue and Ohio State has two as well. So three for Bellevue goes down. Almost we have alts coming up as well. Um, Potatoes is at 84% for their alts. Uh, and it looks like Ohio State might be taking over this control point to start off um, the first game. They haven't completely taken up. There they are. There it is. The start. So we're going to see that percentage in the top. The top middle is going to start going up. Bellevue is going to be coming in for this team fight. But yeah, so first team fight, Ohio State took it. That's yeah, great. absolutely. We saw uh, Yan and Crawl. That was the uh, Crawley. Sorry. Uh, those were the two main to look for uh, for that first battle. You know, we saw uh, Yan uh, really taking a lot of damage there and grab as well. Uh, being able to mop up the rest of those kills and it looks like we're gonna go right into this and look at those ultimates we see Ro rob going in with his ultimate trying to get into the point but it looks like ohio state's trying to defend grab using their alt as well performance is there with the high noon might try to use that soon it looks like lord is going to be taken down that's one of their main tank players performance trying to get those ice shields off with potatoes potatoes able to defend it and it looks like ohio state up to a very quick lead at 47 percent on the point as i like to joke about performance does definitely puts on a performance he had three kills in that team fight right there and really was able to put ohio state over on that last team fight yeah absolutely and we see performance still has his high noon for this next uh battle and it looks like so does lord lord with that very important ultimate but look avery is going to try to use his high noon and lord may try to use that as well to try to get an advantage as they move on to the site 71 percent for ohio state going into this battle eski trying to get as many kills high noon onto avery but it looks like he was unfortunately dazed by eski eski taking two kills and an assist and potatoes mopping up the damage trying to get his team over the finish line in an 84 percent now for ohio state university that's big. That That is huge. As you saw at the end, Bellevue was just retreating because they were just, they couldn't do anything against Ohio State. You know, they had no, they had no, none of their um, high noons, none of anything, and they were just getting dominated by Ohio State here. 98% Ohio State's on. Um, it's going into overtime, so Bellevue has to push here. Um, and this is their really their last chance in order to turn this game over. Yeah, absolutely. And we see here as the overtime ticks down, only five, four players remain for Bellevue. Two with the ultimate performance with his high noon, trying to get as many kills, able to get one onto Crawley. And it looks like with the overtime ticking down and only four players alive, they're going to try to get it. Lord getting taken out as well. That's the two tanks and Ohio State University will take the first 
round of the game. Wow, what, what a great first game that was for Ohio State. Um, a completely dominated game, 100 to zero. Um, let's see if they're able to hold it up for their the next round of this. Yeah. What, were, what were some of your favorite plays, you think? Oh, I mean, obviously, potatoes and performance really going big there, uh, able to mop up a lot of damage. Uh, I mean, potatoes is uh, definitely one of the best tanks uh, to currently be in that collegiate scene and, and performance as the DPS role, obviously, just making huge impacts. I think, though, for me, though, that Yan grab combo that was going on in that first fight to be able to take those initial percentages uh, were definitely some of the best moments that I saw in there. Yeah, I completely agree. We saw a lot of um, Eski as well. Eski had a few kills there, um, definitely putting in some damage. And yeah, the potato and performance duo, it was just, it's dominating this season. Um, yeah. And it's definitely dangerous for the opposing team. Absolutely. Now, uh, what's interesting here is we see Grab actually go over. Uh, what's your thought on this uh, pick on a Reaper, uh, Millie? I think he was just trying to um, get on the other side and try and take from a like different perspective and try and get behind the team and kind of throw them off a little bit and try and take over this control point. Yeah, absolutely. But we see uh, just some quick offensives going on for Bellevue. It looks like they're going to be able to take the point first. Yang getting taken out along with Potatoes. Uh, Echo looks like he wants to keep going for the experiments. Performance finding a very nice angle right now, able to get a few nice shots onto them. But it looks like Avery is able to take them out. Click as well, trying to get the team going. And it looks like Ro uh, Rob is going to be using his ultimate, trying to get as many points as possible, up to 22% for Bellevue. And Ohio State is left packing. That's right. I think Bellevue came back a little bit stronger this round. They didn't want another 0-100 loss. So um, Ohio State has to really think about what they're going to be doing, what they did right in the first game, and how they're going to change it up now, losing 37-0 to 0 at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. We see 40% already as Ohio State is trying to get it. Performance is going to try to use the high noon, but it looks like Avery is able to take him out before it does anything. Avery with his own high noon ability, he may try to use this on this next assault. Try to go for some quick kills. Capo also with their ultimate. This could be big. It looks like Avery's content though with using it. Able to take out Yan's uh, bot and it looks like he's gonna suicide off the side. <laughs> and Avery, uh, able to defend against Ohio State's second assault up to 64% is Bellevue. That is correct. So Ohio State's got two high noons right now, as well as Jan with 92% of it. So I think they're gonna be coming strong in this next play um, with potentially three ultimates all happening to try and take over this control point. It's kind of what they have to do at this point. Absolutely. I mean, we see five ultimates on the side of Bellevue. Rob almost at his ultimate too. Looks like that's five. And look at that shockwave on Lord. Able All to get them down. But used. Eski is hunting for the kill. Able to get Avery. Looks like Potatoes is trying to get their support. Capo trying to use their ultimate to save the team. But now with only two players alive for Bellevue, they are having to retreat. Lord getting taken out as well. And Capo is forced to try to go around. But it looks like he's going to get hunted by Yan. Yan getting frozen. But going back and at 11%, Ohio State takes this point finally ohio state starts seeing the control point percentage go up um 90 is 18 we've seen a lot we've seen a lot more of a difference before you know anything's possible we don't want to count ohio state out yet for this round so we're going to see what they do for this next team fight yeah absolutely and i mean it, they want to take this fight as soon as possible for ultimates on the side of bellevue being used avery still has his mccree might try to do it but it looks like he's able to get taken out by yan click trying to go for the kill 36% on the board for Ohio State and trying to gain it. Performance ha is trying to get his ultimate, but looks like it's taken out by Rob. And a dominant performance for Bellevue as they take the point back. But it looks like at 91%, it's possible that this could be it. Yeah, they might have one more team fight here um, in order to change this control point over. Looks like they got into overtime. Ohio State is trying to push on to that control point and delay the overtime as much as they can. Performance here with the revolver, trying to get those headshots. He's been known for his incredible aim throughout this entire season. It's definitely a deadly McCree, but he, was, he got taken out and Ohio State looks like they are gonna be retreating and Bellevue will take the second round of control. Yeah, absolutely. It didn't seem as dominant as that first round for Ohio State, but Bellevue coming in with a very different tempo than we saw in that first point. Uh, looks like we're going to move on to point three and see which team is able to take it. Any predictions for this this 
uh, final third round without without being biased, of course, for Ohio State because we know who we want to win. But any predictions? Absolutely. I mean, we see Grab uh, going back. Looks like he doesn't want to take Reaper. Looks like he wants to go back to a more conservative pick. So we might see uh, just some more overall, um, just more tactile play from Ohio State. And I think Ohio State's going to take it. I completely agree. I, I think in, um, a person they have to look out for on Bellevue, though, is Clicks. We keep seeing Clicks in the kill feed, as well as just a dominant performance for Bellevue. So I think, you know, soloing off um, Clicks a little bit might be a best play for Ohio State. But we'll, let's see what they do. Absolutely. And we can see it going quick into this team fight. Potato is getting taken down quick by Avery. And it looks like this is going to be a very quick battle performance getting taken under third health but it looks like Avery is trying to take the battle to them taking down Echo as well Crawl taking Eski and it looks like it's going to be the entire team sweep for Bellevue as they take this first point already Bellevue takes over the control point all six were eliminated by Ohio State pretty early on but that doesn't mean they're out for the count yet they're going to be getting back together and taking the second team fight right now Absolutely. I mean, it looks like the Bellevue, though, wants to take this as soon as possible. Lord is getting taken down to low health, and it looks like he's stunned. Potatoes going in, trying to get down. Lord able to get one, but getting frozen out. Looks like he's going to take it up. A performance trying to take those 1v1s, able to get the revolver shots, and really make some space for Ohio State. Grab as well, taking down Avery, and it looks like Ohio State may be turning this point soon enough. That is completely what Ohio State needs. Um, a you know, not let Bellevue get too high on that percentage, take over that control point, but they really have to hold it now. Um, as we saw in the last round, you know, Bellevue was able to control for most of the time. Ohio State took it over once and then gave it right back up. So they really need to hold it here um, in order to try and get this this control map win. Yeah, absolutely. And if we look at those, those ultimates, we see Capo, Avery, and Lord already at their ultimates. Potatoes with that very important ultimate with Echo as well. So it's definitely possible that this is going to be a very interesting battle com or match going into this. And Potatoes, though, getting taken up by Lord, uh, that's going to be big as one of the tanks gets taken up performance trying to go big with the revolver able to get a lot of damage onto him able to actually take out lord with his revolver still trying to get it. avery getting headshotted out performance is taking a lot of space for ohio state and it looks like yan is also able to deal with them as he tries to take out the support players eski as well getting uh, but it looks like click actually taking out performance uh, that could be huge 50 percent already for ohio state and growing as it looks like ohio state is going to be taken back over to their starting line. Bellevue has three high noons right now in their tank and Ohio State has two. I, an interesting play that just happened um, right before this, I saw Eski climb around like three buildings and get behind Bellevue, which I thought was super interesting. Um, Eski, I feel like is always good with his movement and rotations. Um, here he is climbing on all these buildings, um, and it's it's just it's just awesome to see. It's definitely a cool hero that he uses that he's able to do that and use that double jump in order Ooh. to get behind them. Hang on a second, Rob just actually got taken out immediately by performance. That's wow. huge. Avery trying to go huge with his high noon ability is able to get one, unable to get the second though. Avery is seems to be one of the players to look out for from the Bellevue side. Performance getting taken out as well by his counterpart, Lord is getting a triple kill onto Ohio State side, 73% on the board for Bellevue and climbing. What a team fight right there. Really Ohio, but um, Bellevue is going to start taking the lead over again um, and try and control this, this last point in order to get to overtime. Ohio State needs to get together and rework and figure out how to take over this next point. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, this is important with only 92% uh, on the board for Bellevue, uh, Ohio State needs to go now and has to go huge. It's about to be overtime, and here we go. Overtime already for Bellevue to take it to map two. Click getting taken out by Performance. Nice headshot from Performance trying to take out their player. Lord with his ability going to go out and try to take it. Potatoes taking the fight to their tanks taking down one and trying to take wow. down the other. It's contested, and it's not looking too good for Bellevue. Bellevue taking a long look and it looks like it's going to go back into the points for Ohio State. Wow, Potatoes just like full on 1v1 melee meleeing one of their um one of their Bellevue players and then completely using his his alt and riding over the other to get two kills in order to take that control point. What a great play by Potatoes. Absolutely. Another um extreme tank that we see in the collegiate scene. 
as you were saying before, definitely a name to to remember. Yeah, and I mean, we see uh, currently two ultimates on Potatoes and Performance, two of the more important ultimates to see, and only Crawl is anywhere near an ultimate with Capo. It looks like Crawl is finally going to get it. It looks like Performance, though, trying to use his high noon, get as many kills as possible, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to capitalize. Maybe one, but unable to get something. It's overtime now. 99% on the board for Ohio State. Both sides at 100. OSU currently has the advantage with the point in their favor, but right now they are trying to aim an offensive on them. Crawl trying to take as much space as possible. Contested point, Kebab and Crawl both using their ultimates. For grab as well, trying to use theirs. Rabob able to get one, but Potato's going huge, getting two. It's going to be a hard point for Bellevue to get. It looks like he's going to try to get the point performance, trying to get the headshot onto his counterpart, Avery. Unable to do so. Avery down to 40% health, it looks like, as it looks like the only two players, Crawl and Avery, are the only two left to try to attack this point for Ohio State as they get the goal. Ohio State in overtime, both at 99%, is able to get the win for map one. What a crazy first game that was. You can't get closer than that. 99 and 99% for Ohio State and Bellevue. That was that was some intense end game right there. And Ohio State was able to clutch up um, and come back from that, you know, that, that loss from the second round, as well as just being behind at the end of that game, taking over from 99 to 80 or 80 to 99, and then taking it into overtime and finishing the game. Yeah, absolutely. And that was uh, just some great performance overall from, as you say, performance himself. Uh, just overall taking those nice, clean shots, able to take down the competition and potatoes as well. Um, just overall some great performance from both of them. And it looks like, you know, they're going to be the people to look out for as we move on to map two. I mean, we just saw some great team fights overall. It was back and forth. You know, you saw Ohio State with that first um, point really able to come out dominantly, but Bellevue firing back on their own, able to take a pretty dominant point too. And then that 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 last point was just something else to look out for. And you know, it's it's going to be interesting what Bellevue brings to the table coming into map two. That is right. I think Bellevue was a little disappointed in that last game. Um, so I think they are, I think they're going to be disappointed and, but mostly, um, excited for this next game to come back at Ohio State. So Ohio State has to reply pretty strong. Um, but we will be going to a one minute break in between these games. So we will catch you in the next round and yeah, we'll see you then. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back after that short minute break. Uh, <laughs> had some technical difficulties. So we're back here though. An exciting match that we just had with Ohio State versus Midland. And on Ilios picking up that very close win. And it seems like Seth, we have a duel of McCrees here with Performance and Avery. You're gonna have to keep an eye on that one. It's Avery posing a bit of a challenge for Ohio State. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely interesting to see those two counterparts going against each other and uh, like the battle of the McCree every single team fight. Um, it was it was fun to watch and I'm excited to see what else they do if they maybe switch up their heroes um, or if they battle against each other again. Yeah, absolutely. And it depends on what style, uh, what type of map we go to next hybrid, what choice we get there and and uh, Bellevue, Bellevue will be uh, choosing that map as they just lost Ilios. But depending on that, King's Row, we see that uh, strat that we always use. <laughs> we'll see if we get that Bastion Symmetra strat. Uh, and it looks like we do have confirmation that King's Row 
is the hybrid map style. So we'll see if Ohio State brings the signature play that we always use. And we are going to be heading over to that match right now and get right and grab on his typical junk rat pick on King's Rose poppy in a poppy a seed in that hotel just over to the right and apply a lot of pressure on the choke and here we go Ohio State taking an early lead here in this series trying to close this out here on King's Row with a switch to a win Bellevue walking through the choke here and click finds Echo though with a nice shot in the back line. That's going to be problem and Bellevue looks like it's taking the aggressive here and they're going to push in catching potatoes grab and performance sounds and with Echo falling early that was a lot of heels gone out of the way and it was just an unlucky elimination for Ohio State. That is upsetting. Um, obviously Echo is the main part of this team so when you get one one elimination down it's really hard to finish that team fight it really is and potatoes gay walled off here but gets the support from his team as they fall dangerously low but now lord walking in and finding three eliminations it looks like ohio state was trying to take a early team fight right there or early team fight right at the choke but got caught out by a, a big wall from Apo on the side of Bellevue so they're gonna have to regroup here and Grab does have his ultimate step and this is gonna be interesting to see how he uses it. Yes if this, if this is the play that I'm thinking of um, when Grab has his ultimate then I am excited. I still haven't, wasn't sure which um, which which thing I was thinking of before, but I'm pretty sure this is what I what I'm thinking of. So I'm excited. Bellevue is obviously on offense right now. Ohio State is really just trying to stop them from moving that payload to checkpoint A. Um, and yeah, I mean they still have four minutes, so Ooh. Bellevue is pushing pretty hard. Look at that! But a great kill on Capo with the fire strike through the tire is used from grab. Doesn't get anyone, but does apply some pressure and stuff they deal with as. Oh, it is pretty much fine here, just sitting right here at the corner, and now performance a high new around the corner, finds Avery, and that's one elimination down, a huge shatter. Bellevue gets four knocked down on the ground, Ohio State walked in and cleaned up, and Potatoes, a massive shatter, and catches Lord sleeping. What a great team fight that was for Ohio State, being able to push this payload back. Um, and, you know, bring back that distance a little bit that Bellevue was able to bring first. Absolutely. And now a big ultimate here, though, for Bellevue is Capo's Blizzard on the May. It's going to be a big problem here as Potatoes get kind of get caught out, but the beat is used by Eski. He won't have that for the Blizzard, but Grab finds Lord. That's a big elimination as now there's no shield to protect Bellevue and they're gonna, they're gonna have to back out here. They're gonna have to back out and step what was five minutes is now getting down to three minutes only and Grab has another tire. <laughs> well, Grab's got a tire. Obviously an interesting play, uh, a fun play we get to see. Here it is right there. He was able to eliminate two people from Bellevue. Not bad, not bad for his uh, high noon, but Ohio State's got a return now um, as Bellevue is pushing pretty hard right now. Not bad as well as Ohio State is up one and that might just be enough as Bellevue is getting back quickly though. The spawn points are a lot closer and Lord looks for a shatter, isn't able to find one. But now Potatoes gets walled off in a very dangerous place and now we see Ohio State falling to Bellevue. All die on cards so they can regroup and get another attack in as Grab dies late. He would be just a little bit late to the team fight but it looks like with two minutes and 30 seconds left ohio state will have another chance to hold on to this point of beat that is right obviously the payload has to be pushed to that first point in order to reset the clock and add more time to bellevue's time but um they are getting pretty close so this might be one point another point added to bellevue's score um unless ohio state is able to hold them off again 
Uh, it should, looks like Bellevue's showing up in the kill feed, and Avery was all the way on the attack, uh, defender side for Ohio State. He got in very deep while he popped that high noon. Three minutes and 20 seconds left for Bellevue to finish King's Row and then switch over to the defense. Ohio State trying to hold them here as windows popped by Rob. He pops it, but instead eliminations are showing up in blue for Ohio State. And it looks like Ohio State will be holding Bellevue here with no ultimates use or, oh, Echo used his ultimate of a window. So one ultimate used and here we go. Look at this step. Grab has another tire, here we go. and he's in a sneaky spot. I'm excited to see what he does here. These are my favorite plays. Um, someone did spot him, though, sadly. Um, he still might be able to use his ultimate coming up, but it looks like he's going to drop down from his spot. He was seen. Yeah. yeah, he was seen, but now he's in a different position. He pops the tire, looks for the May, who's coming behind him, and he does find Capo in the 1v1 and gets Eski over there to support him. He's looking for more. Unable to find any more, but Lord does have his shatter. Potatoes have to be watching for performance. Finds Cliff though on the end as grab falls to Krari. And now it's just an even fight here. Share used by Battle of You and hits everyone on the ground, but an excellent beat by Eski staying alive. And a huge immortality deal from Echo. Support coming out. MVPs here on the defense of Ohio State, but with all support, all its abilities used, they did not have anything for the Diva Bomb. Bellevue trying to finish this map here with time. A minute and 35 seconds left as they're rolling in here. Ohio State has to get onto the point dangerously close. Beat being used by Click Potato gets off the map here, and Ohio State just has to get on point and stay there. Yan finding one elimination on Click. The spawn point is close for Ohio State. They have to get out so they can stay on point. Yan getting out of mech here. Bellevue trying to finish this map with time in the bank, but Potato is back on point and he's applying a presence. Grab rolling with the time from spawn point, but there's no one left for Ohio State to touch the point as Bellevue will be finishing King's Row all three points with time in the bank. And that could be key here when we get to Ohio State's attack if they finish with time as well. A good that attack for Bellevue, but a strong defense as well, Steph. Yeah, I mean, from Bellevue, we had Crawl come in with a quad feed. Uh, so four kills on Ohio State at the end. And I think that's what really put them over at that last point. Um, but yeah, so we saw a lot of MVPs that game. But mine, personally, was Crawl from Bellevue. He really had um, some strong damage being done and a lot of ultimates being used. And Crawl finally grabbed on this sneaky spot. So yep, that was the right. problem for grab there. <laughs> But we'll see what Ohio State does here on the attack as we see both team lineups coming out. Bellevue still running that traditional Ryan Diva, Lucio, McCree, Bay, Beth, Lucio. It's a pretty standard lineup. May yeah. is definitely a main character to play here on King's Row. But let us see here as we are seeing. The switches come out for Ohio State on that traditional strategy we love to see here. The Bastion Teleport Strat up on the tower. Let's see if they get here as we see performance coming out here, walking to the left. And it looks like Bellevue sees it, but are they going to be able to pressure it enough as performance gets on the high ground <laughs> and is ready death from above in turret form. He's looking to apply pressure here as the rest of the team of Ohio State rolls in performance. Wow. Finds one. <laughs> That's one elimination. That's all they're going to be as Echo finds another. And Yan walks in and finds Avery. Performance finding another on click. And just like that, a first attack Sticking with the strategy. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, folks. And Ohio that State will be capping right. it. Point A, <laughs> first attack. 
that is just an Ohio State um, legacy now at this point. Just keep they keep you using it, and as you said, if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's something. It's a play that they practice, and it works for them. So it's just very fun to watch as well. It's very fun to watch. Just placing that turret on top of the statue, so funny. It's so funny. Such a great play. And now look at this. But they found another spot. The back line. What? Wait, what? Whoa. How did this happen? It looks like they got up to high ground. They dropped behind Ohio State on the attacker's side. Now, Bellevue and Ohio State have switched sides here on King's Row. Wow. As they're trying to close this out here, trying to find eliminations. But Pateos gets caught out. He gets stunned, grabbed with that three charged level beam, looking to apply pressure. Performance has the, the tank now. And now he finds what he finds too. Performance He's trying to turn the momentum here for Ohio State, and he does it even on the Bastion. Doesn't even need to be playing McCree to make a joy here <laughs> and an impact. Ohio State now gets the cart rolling, and he's back. SK resurrects him, and they are rolling this cart through Kings Row. I mean, when you have a player like Performance just with incredible aim. Putting him in that in that ba in that bastion like turret is just it's unbeatable at that point. Like even him with his with his sheriff um, revolver, like his aim is just on point. So having a player like that is necessity for for some good Overwatch. Necessity as well. Our performance gets caught out, but he is back now. Capo, you see the blizzard. This is going to be a problem for Ohio State as you see Bellevue is cleaning up the kill on Ohio State's side as Ohio State's going to be sent back to the spawn point and we're seeing the switches come out for Ohio State now. Performance getting on the McCree and running this more of a mirror comp into this. But Grab does have the ultimate ability for Symmetra, that giant shield wall covering the entire map and he's going to be staying on it, get that up and running. So Ohio State's moving in here, and Avery has a high noon. He's looking to find anything. He doesn't find any eliminations here, but with Crawl coming in, it's going to be big. And now, grab pop of the ultimate ability. It's going to be not much of an impact as Bellaby used some of their ultimates, and I think Bellaby used four ultimates in that fight, and. They're, that's going to work as Ohio State with 2 minutes and 50 seconds left. They're going to be regrouping the spawn point. Is right. So they, they were at the about the same point as Bellevue was um, at this time. Um, they have two and a half minutes left. So I actually think Ohio State is a little bit behind where Bellevue was last round. Um, but I don't think it's going to stop them at all. And I think they're going to push up to this next point soon. Just a little bit here as now we see a blizzard coming out for a capital another blizzard It's a very high impact ultimate for Bellevue and now Bellevue's just rolling in and finds grab and the rest of Ohio State team will fall and they're gonna have to regroup once again and uh, uh, The blizzard ultimate staff it, for for me is it if you use it correctly it can just win you a team fight alone and Yang gets staggered killed right there. But the Blizzard is just a big ultimate ability that can just win the team fight. That's interesting. I hope we can um we're able to see it again. Um it looks like Grab switched back over um to a different hero. He's not using um the other one before with the giant shield, um, Symmetra. Yeah, yeah he switched over to May to counterpart to May, that. Yes. And Mm -hmm. He falls dangerously low. Performance uses the high noon. He's trying to find any eliminations as Ohio State trying to roll into this point. And now Grab uses the blizzard for Ohio State's side. He freezes three. And now Big Bob coming out. Oh, that was dangerous. But it looks like Ohio State is finding the eliminations. Esky pops a beat just to sustain Ohio State to secure this point B. And they do. Two minutes and 30 seconds left to roll into point C and it is very important that they finish with at least 0.1 second on the clock because if they do not, they will not get a second attack. Hmm, interesting. 
Yeah, I mean, they're definitely not at the same pace as Bellevue was at this point. I think Bellevue had about three and a half minutes to push that final that final checkpoint. Um, but we'll see what Ohio State is able to do for this last, this last push. See, Capo has the Blizzard again. And he's going to be using it here. It does not get eaten, but Ohio State's able to get out of it. They're able to regroup and get back in this team fight. Performance falling dangerously low, has to get healed up. Potatoes also dangerously low here, but now Performance walking around finds the high noon and two eliminations. Avery finds him quickly after, but with that, Ohio State trying to clean this up very fast so they can get the cart rolling here. Ski mm -hmm. finds the last kill on Avery, and now Rob eliminated by Grab. One minute and 23 seconds as Bellevue trying to get out quickly here just to touch it. Now Blizzard being used early and it's going to keep Bellevue off the point or at least some of the players. Hyman being used. They're coming out of the other spawn point. A big shatter from Potatoes trying to clean this up, trying to finish with time left on the clock. And they do. A minute wow. and four seconds. Only one, one second, second faster wow. than Bellevue. And that is very important because both teams will have another chance to attack and defend in this overtime round of King's Rose, Dev. And you want to push it all the way to the end, of course, but the first team attacking, they only get the amount of time in their time bank. They do not get any extra time for capturing point A, B, or finishing the map. Okay, I see. What, how that just shows how um, well balanced all of these teams are in this seating. Obviously, you know they're top nine, but um, the first the first whole round of the control, you know that last that last game was ninety nine to ninety nine percent, and now we see you know a tie of three three with a minute and four seconds and a minute and three seconds. Like these two teams are so evenly matched, and it's such an interesting um, game or like games that we're watching. And it's just really it's really cool. It's always exciting to see two very evenly matched teams. Uh, of course, it's a little nervous, uh, nerve-wracking for the players when <laughs> it's a close match, but it's exciting for us, and it's exciting for you fans all watching Ohio State Esports Overwatch as we are about to get in to our overtime push. Because Ohio State finished with one second more, they will be defending first, and Bellevue will be attacking, and their minute has started. They are trying to capture this point here, at least point A to start to give them hope. But with already 45 seconds left, they are trying to push in here. Potatoes gets walled off. It's going to be dangerous. He falls low and is unable to get the immortality field. Now Yan has to make a play here, grab up close and personal and finds Lord. But now it looks like Bellevue is able to push in and cap point A at least to make some amount of progress here. Any progress that Bellevue makes, Ohio State will have to match and get the equal amount to win this. Unless they finish the map. And step, if Bellevue finishes the map, then Ohio State has to finish the map. And if they also finish the map, then we do this all over again. <laughs> Until we find a victor we find or a overtime. Winner. Yep, victor <laughs> or draw. Overtime started as Bellevue is rolling the card around here. Moving it to the Troik and Capo has the blizzard. That's going to be a big ultimate here. As they're going to try and look for it here early. That's exactly what they do. Avery pops a high noon as well as Potatoes falls to Lord. One tank down and Yan also falls. Both tanks on the side of Ohio State are eliminated and it looks like Bellevue will be pushing in and making more progress with that team kill. But Grab has his blizzard online basically. And that's going to be a key factor step. Yeah, so well, now that there's no time left, what is, um? so they're still pushing this payload up to the next point. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, so someone has to stay on cart. If gotcha. on the side of Bellevue, if they get off, that overtime bar will empty very quickly. So Iowa State just has to push them off the cart. And with Grab Blizzard, that might be enough as Esky brings out the beat. And now we're going to see Grab Blizzard just directly on cart. And he's, they're looking for eliminations. And with everyone frozen, performance finds two. 
and Yan throws in the deep bomb, and that's going to be cleaning them up. And now, it's still an even fight here. They just need to get the D.Va off the point. She's the last one before Bellevue's team gets back here to help them out. And they're trying to find D.Va. Ball does get back. Lord gets back here. That's another person they have to get rid of. Avery, Click, and Lord. They're back in the team fight. Ohio State has to clean this up. Avery finds... Uh, Finds himself eliminated, his performance dies, and now Potatoes with the big shatter. Looks like it's going to be enough to clean up the team of Bellevue. Bellevue moving it 88.76 meters to point B after capturing point A. Ohio State has to move it 88.77 meters to secure Kings Row and win this series. That is correct. Let's see what they do. They have that one extra second above Bellevue, so let's see if they're able to capitalize on that extra second um, and see how far they can push it. Hopefully, you know, it's 89 meters, but we will see. We'll see if that one second makes that a is, difference Yeah, here. I mean, it could. It could. <laughs> it could. It could. It could, it could come sport. down to it, yeah. Any other sport, basketball, football, it, that one second makes a difference. Exactly. And it could make a difference here in – this match, uh, I'm curious to see what lineup Iowa State runs with only a minute and four seconds. I'm not sure if they're going to run the Bastion strat because when you run that strat, it's good to capture point A quickly, but it's not really good for the rest of the map. So if you stick with a more rush composition like they are on now, they're able to build up those ultimates. As we see, grabs up a, to play the Junkrat over the May. Oh no, he's playing the Symmetra, actually. This is interesting. Try and get that full shield, um, that cross-map oh. shield could be very helpful in this. Here we go. And looks like Bellevue's taking the early fight here. This is interesting as Ohio State flips on them and is trying to catch out Bellevue's team in the back line. Lord Paul dangerously low here. Potatoes false half. Immortality field used for Bellevue. And Bellevue is just stalling this point. And oh my goodness, a sneaky teleport onto point. As they're almost able to build one tick, and they do. Now Bellevue is off the point and on the attacker's side. And Yan applying so much pressure with D.Va. Just spamming this. Potatoes hits Frozen but gets the support he needs. And now the kills are showing up in blue for Ohio State. Ohio State should be able to close this fight out and secure point A. That was a very good team fight for Ohio State. They are able to capture point A step. But now... Overtime about to start. They have to stay on this point and win another two team fights at least. That is right. 88.76 meters is the, the length that they or the distance they have to beat. Um, so they have to be able to get that 88.8 meters in order to beat Bellevue for this last this last overtime payload. It's very close. Yeah. Very, very close, close here. Avery using a high noon. They have to be careful here. He's looking for more. And the big share comes up from Potatoes! It's five on the ground. Performance by the eliminations. Three down. And they're looking for the rest of them to get the card moving. Ohio State, a huge shatter for Potatoes to turn this momentum around. And Capo loses the blizzard. It gets eaten by Yan. Two big plays for Ohio State tank lineup. As now, they're rolling around the corner. They're trying to finish this map quickly before Bellevue gets back here. Bellevue will be able to get the touch. One more team fight for Ohio State to win this and secure it. The point being dangerously close here. A big ultimate from Grab of the Shield. Whoa, trying to roll them off potatoes, but not able to do so. Big shield here. Diva Bombs coming out on both sides. Both finding one elimination. Ohio State trying to close this out, but Lord with a shatter for Bellevue hits two on the back line, and Bellevue find the eliminations to try close this one out so they can tie this series up. And the point was so close, but Bellevue holds on by half a meter. And folks, we have a game three here and a very close matchup with Ohio State versus Bellevue. My goodness.
I, I don't know how a match can really get any closer now. As we see the first round, that overtime, 99 to 99%, and now we see the second maps going only half a meter is what Ohio State needed to secure this entire victory, but they weren't able to get it. Bellevue was able to come in at that 88.76, while Ohio State had that 88.16, which, I mean, when you when you say that, like, those that half court shot or like that last second matters like that that is exactly what it comes down to um so it's one one ohio state with one and bellevue with one and it's going to all come down to these last three games it's going to all come down to our third style map of escort and we get the pick after losing that map so we get to choose between three different escort maps so at least Ohio State will get to choose their most comfortable escort map going into this third round. Tying the series up one to one. Bellevue making it close and not making it easy here in the top nine CD group one. But Ohio State still showing that they can come back and win this as we showed that on our first map of Ilios. I'm really curious to see what map we go to. We are going to be going to Route 66, Route 66. That should be a fun one. Depending on, I'm curious what to see, what lineup uh, or here composition Ohio State plays on Route 66, actually. Because Route 66, that it's it, there's a lot of high ground and you can play a some heavy mobile hero so we might see some double bubble composition with the winston and zarya for Ohio state and i know they've been practicing on that and uh, i'm pretty sure performance will be running his classic mccree on route 66. i'm excited to see it excited to see if avery also pulls out the mccree so we have those those two guys battling each other and yeah, as you said, the composition, see what they're going to be doing for uh, Route 66. Is this the one with the high ground, like the castle, um, when they look down, or is this a different one? No, so that was Eichenwald. That's Eichenwald gotcha. uh, hybrid. Route 66, you know, you got to come get your kicks there. We're going to hopefully get our kicks <laughs> there by picking up the win and winning the series 2-1 for Ohio State. But we'll have to see as we get headed in over to our match to see both of our team's lineups and get this round uh, three started. Here we go. As we hop into this third and final game, Ohio State versus Bellevue University, the battle of the seeding, um, all battling to try and get to that third round and that second and third seeding for the Overwatch Collegiate Playoffs. Absolutely, as we see coming up on Big Girls Gas Station. Nice place to relax, <laughs> kick up your feet, fill up some gas, and get back on the road. As Ohio State is running more of a traditional rush comp with the Devo Reinhardt. We see Grab on the Tracer here, not one here that we've seen him play tonight. Grab on the Tracer, that should be actually a nice pick. A tracer in the back line on the defense as Ohio State will be defending here first. And we see Avery switch it back over to the McCree here as he see grab on the tracer. McCree yeah, is better pistols. Counter. Yeah. Yeah, a bit awesome. of counter for grab as we see Ohio State trying to find some kills. Yan falling dangerously low though, but gets healed up by Eski and Potato finds Click. One support down here and he's gave the support he needs from Echo and Eski. Two great support lines for Ohio State as looks like all eliminations show a blue when that card is still right where it started. That is correct. I, by the way, I love this map. It, rem it gives me like, I don't know what, what vibes, but I really like the, the Grand Canyon kind of um, composition of it. And I love all the high ground, so all of the heroes that are able to, you know, fly around and get that high ground, it's so interesting to see. Because um, you really got to look in the air as well, instead of just looking on the ground, compared to, like, King's Landing. Where you just yeah, kind of have that one route. Yeah, compared to King's Road, it's uh, high King's ground Road, everywhere. <laughs> it looks like we're seeing a big freeze here for Capo, and now with that big freeze and... It, Raw picking up four eliminations. My goodness, Bellevue will get this cart rolling. 
I really said King's King's Landing. You know what that's from? Game what of Thrones. King's. King's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm confusing King's Row. King's Landing. Gave TV I've been shows too much and Game Thrones. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Gave them too mixed up. <laughs> it's always nice to watch some TV. Uh, stay inside, stay safe. That's right. Wear your Jeez. mask. Yes. <laughs> Grab Giddy his pulse bomb eaten by Craw, and so that is out of the equation in this team fight. Ohio State trying to re-engage here. Capo has the blizzard though. It's going to be dangerous as the beat comes out just in time to save Echo. And now the blizzard keep all of Ohio State off the cart, but that's okay because performance finds eliminations off the card as well he doesn't even have to be on it and now grab a headshot of dangerous big icicle as capos in the back line is just causing problems and with the follow-up shadow for lord bellaby will be cleaning up ohio state's team and with yan the last to be eliminated bellaby will be rolling into point a gave that extra time bonus He's right, three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock for Bellevue to reach that next point. Plenty of time for them to do that, but also plenty of time for Ohio State to, to hold them to it. Um, performance back on McCree with his revolver, trying to get those headshots as he does. Um, and yeah, Potatoes also has his high noon right now, as well as Echo. Echo is using his right now and Potatoes. Ohio State is pushing in hard right now. They are, they are, and we saw Potatoes using a shatter and performance do the way he does click a head with his revolver <laughs> and cleaning up those kills. There's another one, yep. And he finds another one and sends Bellevue back to the spawn point to regroup here with three minutes left on its clock and performance has the high noon here and we're seeing him get in this position on the high ground and it looks like they're going to be looking to use it here but capo has that blizzard stuff and that's going to be a problem that is correct see if they uh use that right now see window pushes performance off the high ground and we see both teams have kind of rotated and grab finding capo with the icicle headshot taking blizzard out of the fight grab almost gets the ship to heal himself and eski looking for the support 1v1 and he finds it he finds the support in the back line beat to keep the rest of ohio state team up and alive as they're trying to find avery eski again eski going across and around the map of 366 that but he's just finding eliminations all wow. over we see a lot of dominant performances by Ohio State in the kill feed right there. Um, Yan, Yan, someone to obviously look at him flying up there and just lasering down with his his tank. Uh, so so interesting to watch. Ohio State's communication and rotations are just dominant at this point. It really is, and a minute and forty seconds, and potatoes. Oh my, <laughs> it's shatter in the air, but uh got boop and then frozen and didn't even get the shatter off. Oh, quite a crazy play here. It's, looks like Ohio State will just be dying on the card and respawning and regrouping. Trying to get another hold in as a minute and 20 seconds left for Bellevue. Trying to cap point B here, Stev, just to get some extra time. Yeah, Avery on Bellevue was able to get three kills right there while um, performance was also gonna get two. It was back and forth of just a whole kill feed filling up with McCree and their revolver just shooting, shooting as you said before, clicking some heads. Um, it was just a pretty strong hero in the Collegiate League um, and it's been used a lot by almost every team that we've, we've seen. McCree is a popular hero. Here he is, Yan trying to battle. Avery right now is able to take him out. The revolver was not enough. Wasn't enough here, but as Yan was fighting that, it, the rest of the team for OS stayed or eliminated on card, and Bellevue captures point B here as Capo regroups with Bellevue, his team. Two minutes left in this push, this attack for Bellevue, trying to finish Route 66 here as they get this cart rolling around the first corner. On to the final stretch here to cross the finish line in their attack. Ohio State regrouping here. Performance does have the high noon. There's some high ground positions they might use to get that ultimate off. But 
He's trying to find any, but B comes out by click by last minute. And now Crawl using the bomb finds no one, but both ranks are traded here. Capo looking to build up that ultimate performance, finding click and that performance falling to Avery. Yan Diva, it's a battle of Divas on point here as Yan gets out of mech though. But he's looking for elimination in the back line. He's looking for Batiste, but he gets the immortality field down just in nick of time. As Ohio State is making this team fight go very, very long here. Potatoes fall dangerously low, but is able to stay alive. Shatter finds no one. Avery on the right, though. He gets caught. Catches two. Graham and Esky with the high noon. And now Bellevue with 40 seconds left, getting very close to the last point. That's right. I, at the end of this Route 66, this last little factory thing, there's so many platforms and levels that when you're playing on it, you just really have to look up, side to side, you know, below you, everything. Like, there's so much going on. So you really need to pay attention to the depth of this part, this last part of the map. And it's really just chaotic. It's awesome to watch. Yeah, definitely have to be keep an eye on us. We're rolling to this last fight. Grab uses the blister and pushes Bellevue off. Capo switches to the Soldier 76 to sprint back and rejoin his team. That's 10 to 5 seconds remaining for Bellevue. They're getting close to the end. B being used by SD. Keep the team alive. Bomb being popped by Yan. Looking to zone everyone off the point. He finds one. The Diva Alamec. Potato swinging his hammer all over point. That He's finding the kills. And Bellevue will not finish Route 66. They get very close. But... Bellevue does not finish, and that means, Steph, we will have a victor here, whether that's Ohio State finishing Route 66 or Bellevue holding. It all comes down to this. Again, can you really get any closer than that? Bellevue was just so close to getting that third um, and final point for this round, but they just couldn't do it. So Ohio State really has to clutch up right now and get that third point if they want to move on to the next seeding bracket. They got to clutch it up and close it up, close the book, <laughs> sign the check, and That's move right. on to the final round by picking up this one against Bellevue. Very close match here we have, Steph, and both teams, both teams showing what they got and how they can perform in the playoffs in two weeks wherever they get seeded here. Ohio State, I'm curious if they're going to run anything different it looks like Bellevue have stuck with the same six heroes in every single matchup. And Ohio State has shown that their DPS lineup goes deep and they are very varied as we see Grab being that flex DPS playing all of these different projectile heroes. Whether well, it's Tracer, Junkrat, now we even see him on the Doom with the fist punch it in. We'll see if he makes an impact here for Ohio State as the time ticks down. Ohio State going in on the attack here as Grab switches over to Symmetra. Play up the teleport to move around the map just to get into a high ground position. Ohio State needs to finish the map here and look at this! Grab catches Capo switching over to the jump rat. An excellent play on the flank as Grab does get caught out, but Esky finding two eliminations, and what a play by Ohio State, as Steph, I don't know if you caught that, but <laughs> Grab threw down the teleporter, yep. and then sent Ohio State up on the high ground, and then Grab stayed in spawn point, switched over to Junkrat, and when Bellevue rotated, they they didn't even know he was there and he was able to find one or two eliminations to get this cart rolling definitely a really strong play that ohio state needed to start off this um this first payload push indeed and now it looks like bellevue's trying to get a push in esky falls that's going to be healing gone so Ohio State still rolling this card, but now Bellevue gets on point. Grab trying to find some mines and concussion grenades here. To turn this fight. Potatoes falls to click with a punch. And now with Echo eliminated, it looks like Ohio State's going to have to regroup here. 
That is correct. You know, they won that first team fight, but Bellevue was able to come back and win that second one. Um, Ohio State really needs to get back onto this payload, though, in order to push if they want to. They have two and a half minutes left, a little under two and a half minutes, in order to get to that first spot, which I think they'll be able to do, but they have to keep a steady pace if they want to stay, um, stay on the same route as Bellevue in order to take this entire match. Indeed, they have to stay on pace, and Capo has that blizzard on most, and it's going to be really dangerous here once he get that. Eski trying to build up that support alt. Avery pops a high noon. He's looking to find anyone for Ohio State. Unable to find it with a high noon, but now tire being used by Grab. We'll see if it makes a difference here, and click is eliminated. Performance dies, and Potatoes with the Shatter. And ultimates for Ohio State are used and able to secure this team fight and cap point A. And even though ultimates were used for Ohio State, they were also used for Bellevue step. And we are rolling with four minutes left onto point B. That is correct. They have, yeah, four minutes left, or a little less than four minutes in order to get to that second spot. Um, Bellevue has got two ultimates ready, as well as Ohio State. Eski and Yan have their two. And I wonder if they're going to be using these two for um, for this next fight. Really important here with Kappa with a Blizzard to either catch him out early or have the Blizzard or beat to keep him alive. But beats used early as now Kappa has a free Blizzard here. They're trying to find him, eliminate him early, but... It looks like Lord is just bodyguarding him <laughs> as Lord finds the eliminations for Bellevue and Ohio State has to regroup here. So yeah, and, uh, yeah, and jumps into that canyon. Go skydiving. We just didn't see the <laughs> end, but he had a parachute, I swear. He had a parachute, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a parachute you just back and regroup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's gonna regroup back with his team. <laughs> so Ohio State <laughs> is going back in here and uh, Capo has that blizzard and that could be t team fight end day as Ohio State's trying to find a place to attack here as now it looks like Belfie drops right on top of them but performance opens it up with an elimination Lord falls dangerously low grab pops the tire but click with a B giving everyone shields for that damage now Grab trying to get out of the blizzard, but he can't. He gets frozen and gets singled out. Then Bellaby rolls in with the kills after that blizzard. And now <laughs> Yan is about to go skydiving uh, once again here. And I there he swear, goes. I swear there this goes. parachute, you just can't see it. <laughs> you just can't see it, folks. He <laughs> has a parachute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. yeah. yeah. Or like a glider. <laughs> He's got something, a squirrel suit. He has a squirrel Whatever. suit. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He has a squirrel suit. Uh, yeah. Two minutes left for Ohio State. Gave down to serious moments here. They are favored in the ultimate economy. They just have to find something that works. And it looks like they're going to try single out Lord here. As he's all alone by himself here. He's in dangerous position. And that's exactly what Ohio State needed to do. As Lord was a little bit too aggressive there. And Bellevue's going to be die on card, just trying to regroup here. And now Ohio State, with a minute and 15 seconds left, they have to push this card to point C and finish the map to take Route 66. That is correct. I mean, they have a whole minute to do it. They are pretty close. Um, but Bellevue is going to be coming back real soon to try and stop this payload from moving forward. It's going to be close here as Potatoes yeah. falls out here, uses a share, doesn't find anyone. The bomb is used though, and Potatoes finds the fire strike on Avery. Lord has the shatter, but there's a beat to keep everyone alive through it. Shatter is used from Lord, gets people on the ground, but it's not going to be enough as Ohio State finds the eliminations normally. And looks like uh, Capo's frozen on point, and uh, he's going to be taken out. Ohio State. 30 seconds remaining, but rolls into point B. A minute and 50 seconds left in this match to finish and move on to finals in our CD. Now, what happens if they don't finish and get that third point? If they do Is not it finish and move it as far as, uh, as far as Bellevue, then Bellevue will take this win. And uh-oh, it's not a good start. Space. 
Yeah, it's distance based. But Bellevue didn't finish the map, so Ohio State just has to move it 71.31 meters. Gotcha. Just like cool. Kings Row. Cool. Cool indeed, but with a minute and 15 <laughs> seconds left, That's, it's getting dangerously close. That is true. They really have to get back. That payload's going backwards toward um, toward Ohio State's defense, so they really have to push up in order to get that forward. They got to get on it right now if they want to even see have a chance of getting to that third point. And it looks like a big flashbang by performance. A shatter use doesn't find anyone, but now Click using the B to keep everyone alive and performance gain focused down here, but gets the support. But while he's getting the support, Yan and Grab fall. Two down for Ohio State. And Bellevue, looks at this step. Bellevue is not giving Ohio State any space. They are playing very aggressive. Yes, they are. They're gonna try and hold them for that last 30 seconds. Coming right out of their spawn point, it's hard to it's hard to get past them. As hard as both blizzards being used, Eski has the beat though, keep him alive. Bomb looking for anyone, and Yan uses the bomb just to remech here, and he doesn't get in remech. He gets focused down. 15 seconds throwing really down for Ohio State. They have to regroup here. They have to get on point as time is ticking down. Five seconds remaining. Yan switching over to the Hammond so he can at least get on point to touch. But he gets solo shattered. Eski forced to touch tier. Bellevue's holding it very aggressively as Ohio overtime is rolling down. Bellevue will be holding on to Route 66 and they'll be taking the win over Ohio State. Unfortunately, Ohio State will be falling to Bellevue and not move on to their final round in CD Mixer. But where we finish, that's uh, undetermined as we will either be uh, give a seeded, uh, I think, fourth or fifth. That is correct. I think fourth or fifth. Yeah, I mean, it's just an honor to be in the top nine for the Overwatch Clues series. I mean, they've worked so hard. Ohio State Esports is a brand new program. Um, and they're like, the Overwatch team's already making a name for themselves as well as our Rocket League and League of Legends teams. But we are, um, we are a new program, but that doesn't mean that we have to compete like a new program, you know? Ohio State has had a great season so far, and I'm so excited to see what they're going to be able to do in playoffs as they already have that playoff position. And now they're going to either be in fourth or fifth seed going into their first their first um, Overwatch Collegiate Series. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's incredible. So so what, did you, what were some great things that you saw over the, the past few games, Joel? Oh, I mean, we saw great things for Ohio State. I'm really excited to see how they do in our playoffs, whether we're seeded fourth or fifth moving in. Uh, the, the term, it's determined by uh, whoever wins in the finals uh, in our seed, I'm pretty sure. But I'm excited to see performance. I'm excited to see graph. And what I think, Steph, really separates us from other teams is we do have that diversity in hero pool selections. We saw Grab can play a bunch of different heroes, and we did see Bellevue stick with just one composition, and they did best as here. But I feel like in long in the long run, and get it warmed up as well, since we didn't have a since we didn't have a uh, win in uh, when we we didn't have the win today, but. Moving forward, I think Ohio State is really favored in matchups. Yeah, that is completely correct. And as you were explaining the depth that Ohio State has, we also see performance and that Bastion play all the time at King's Row, which is just incredible to watch. It's always fun to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they, they have the ability to change different heroes, which is, some, which is something huge for an Overwatch team. And I'm really excited to see what they do. I mean, three great rounds all went into overtime. There was really no like favorite or anything. Um, it could have been anyone's game at that point, you know, 99 to 99, the first game at the control point, And then, you know, going into that overtime with that, that half a meter and then coming down to, you know, just that last point for the last round. It's just, it was, it was really great. It was a really great mm -hmm. gameplay. It was, it was super exciting. We're going to go to a short minute break here, but don't go away. We do have a interview with one of Ohio State's players, Yan, the off tank for Ohio State Esports Overwatch. Stick around just after this minute.
Hello everyone, welcome back from the one minute break. I'm joined by Ohio State Esports Overwatch team's off tank Yan. Yan, what an exciting match uh, against Ohio State and Bellevue. Unfortunate loss though, but still excited for us. Yeah, it was a tough game. Um, I know Elias went 99-99 on the last map and um, winning that we felt really confident. Um, you know, going to the next map we were good. And then uh, we were able to hold them on route, but really unfortunate um, how we came out in the last couple of fights. So. Um, yeah, real close. Uh, it is just playoff seating, but um, we hope to do better uh, when we go to the actual playoffs for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And it was exciting to watch on your end. I'm sure it was exciting for all the viewers. With the closeness in this match going in uh, into this playoff seeding, of course, it's just seeding, but mm. going into the playoffs seeded fourth or fifth, uh, it should put you in good position, hopefully. Uh, is there any teams that you're kind of trying to avoid with some high CD, uh that you're trying to avoid at least? Um, I'm not trying to avoid. I think we're still a solid, you know, top four team for sure. Um, we can take any of these teams any day. Um, I know we have Maryville um, in front and then also Northwood. So eventually we play them. That might be difficult. But, you know, looking down the bracket, there's no team we can't beat for sure. Um, we've been scrimming really well, um, had some good matches. You know, finishing 9-1 and one, um, was still really good for us. So, uh we're not really scared of any teams. Um, I think with enough preparation, we can beat um, most anybody in the tournament. So that's really how we're thinking right now. That's a great way to think. Having that confidence going into any match, uh, thinking it could beat any team here. During the match, I saw that uh, you and Potatoes are excellent with compositions and just myriad. Uh, I saw that you were sticking to more of that Ryan Diva composition. And in the past, we've seen that you've been playing like Ryan Arissa uh, or Ryan Zarya or Winston Zarya with Double Bubble, but mm. mostly stuck with the uh, Ryan Diva. Is there a, a reason they stuck with that composition or just to mirror Bellevue today? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, in scrims, we'd be practicing a lot of Brawl. So um, mm. right now, I guess, like the settled meta, if you want to call it that, is um, really the Brawl with the Diva, Ryan, um, Lucio Bap, and then usually McCree. Um, we have grab switch off of May and junk in between that, but you know, really, it is our, our standard comp. It's sort of like the most comfortable with. Um, I know we had on Kings, we took out our, our Sigma Bastion, uh, you know, TP strat, and that was fun. But uh, other than that, we really have been grinding out this one composition, and we feel comfortable on it. Um, we think most maps, uh, it's adaptable uh, for sure. And um, you know, a lot of those fights, uh, we thought we still could take with the uh, the Ryan Diva, especially. Um, you know, sadly didn't turn out um, the best for us, but. Uh, we do switch it up sometimes, and we play like Gibraltar. We'll do a uh, double bubble sometimes, but uh, other than that, really, Ryan Diva is our uh, our main our main composition for sure. So it's great. We're excited to see more of that composition going forward, and to see some of those May eat blizzards as we saw. May, of course, you know, I'm sure yeah. May Blizzard is a game ending or a team fighting ultimate and. Definitely uh, having a D.Va on you, specifically play D.Va, uh, can turn the tide and eat some of those blizzards as well. So you're talking about playing that double bubble on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Is that a common map that you would pick if you had the chance? Yeah, Is that Yeah. so we were really discussing um, in between Root and then uh, a Jib for this next match. Um, we had last map pick. Um, you know, we had a really good first uh, spawn hold on defense. Uh, so after that, we definitely thought we uh, chose a good map for sure. Um, you know, that stride is always more goal for us. Um, but yeah, Gibraltar would be um, kind of the other, you know, comfort pick, if you want to call it that. But we've scrammed a lot on Jib and also on Root. So it was almost a toss up in between which one we wanted. Um, and then at the end of the day, we chose Root instead. But yeah, if we did choose Jib, you probably would have seen us on um, the bubble instead. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we kind of the same thing the rest of it. So. Unfortunate indeed, but still, whether it's the top four or top five, depending on the results, uh, I think you will you should be ending up at top four since you see the higher than Maryville and they uh, play Harrisburg. Uh, not sure of the match result there, but we'll see. Uh, my final question, yeah, before we sign off, uh, you talked about that Bastion and some extra strats. If, I know everyone is known uh, or know that we uh, stay run that strat or you guys do mm -hmm. uh going into the playoffs in two weeks uh are we gonna see more of that even though <laughs> everyone knows um 
you know, I, I can't answer that for sure because we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> um, I know that uh, we're, we're able to, like, you know, kind of mess around with it, you know, fake it sometimes, not exactly uh, go straight to statue. So uh, I really can't answer that. Don't want to, you know, spoil it for anybody. <laughs> um, I guess we guys have to wait and see for sure. But um, yeah, we like it. Uh, it is really fun when it comes out and we win a map with it. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Don't want to let all the cats out of the bag. So <laughs> right. It's all exciting to see that Bastion Strat come out on King's Row. And like I've always said, if it ain't broke, don't fix yeah. it. So we'll see as we follow all your team in the playoffs happening in two weeks on April 10th and 11th. Yan, thank you so much for joining uh, me for this interview. And thank you, everyone, for joining Ohio State Esports Overwatch. We'll be signing off here. Go follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and our YouTube channel at Ohio ST Esport to catch up on all replays for Ohio State Overwatch and Rocket League and League of Legends. My name is Joel Harvey. My Twitter is at Guthix Esport. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And we will see you in two weeks when we bring you Ohio State Overwatch playoffs and see their run through the tournament. See you, everyone.